Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for September the 14th of 2019, well, it is titled Little Planet to Exoplanets. So what do we see here? Well, this is a view put together uh, showing a 360-degree view of the entire uh, sky. And here it is compressed together so that the Earth is, is in the center of the image. So everything we see here on the Earth around the horizon is there at the center. And in this case, we are seeing a number of telescope domes uh, from taken high in the Chilean mountains. So down in South America, in Chile, uh, very high in the desert of the mountains there, there are a number of telescopes, and this is part of that set of telescopes. And the ones that are specifically noted are a set of telescopes used to look for exoplanets. So exoplanets are planets that exist outside of our solar system. So we know of the eight planets in our solar system, Mercury out through Neptune, but there are also now many thousands of planets that have been discovered outside of our solar system. And these domes are used to do that, to be able to look for, for transits of planets across their stars. So when a planetary system is lined up just right, the planet may pass in front of the star and a planet being a lot cooler and a lot fainter than the star will therefore slightly dim its light. So we can look for these mini eclipses that occur when a planet passes in front of its star and we can use those to interpret and learn about how many planets there are. And we have now found 4,000 planets outside of our solar system uh, using methods quite like this and including things like the Kepler satellite that gave us a large number of these uh, before its mission finally ended. So there are a number of there's other satellites that are being used and of course things here on the ground also looking for these slight variations to find planets outside our solar system. Now, there's some other things that we might notice in this image, and one is we see uh, two fuzzy objects off to the right-hand side here. Those are the Magellanic Clouds. Those are two small satellite galaxies of our Milky Way. Very familiar to those who live in the Southern Hemisphere, as they are easily visible to the naked eye, and are, again, two irregular galaxies outside of our Milky Way, small satellite galaxies that orbit around our Milky Way, much as the planets orbit around the sun. We also see this curved line stretching across. Well, it's only curved because of the uh, way the image was put together. That really would be a nice straight line. That's actually a laser beam that is being sent up into the atmosphere. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, our atmosphere is one of the uh, biggest problems for astronomers in being able to view things in the space. Our atmosphere will block out and distort the light coming from stars and other objects. So one thing that astronomers do is try to find the specific properties of the atmosphere. So by shooting out a laser, they can make essentially an artificial star in the upper atmosphere and observe that and knowing its properties, they can then readjust the shape of the mirror to take into account the atmospheric distortion. And when they apply that to objects, uh, light coming from objects outside of the atmosphere, it will correct them and make it essentially as though they were not being looked at through the atmosphere. So it's what we call adaptive optics and a good way to be able to uh, get resolutions that normally only visible from space here on Earth. And then finally, we can also see kind of below that arc and the arc of the laser cuts through it is our own Milky Way galaxy sitting here low on the horizon. And that, of course, is our own spiral galaxy, a little bit of it, as we see it from within. So that was our picture of the day for September the 14th of 2019. It was titled Little Planet to Exoplanets. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. 
previewed to be long on Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.